Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela with another episode of Thrifty Thursday. And before we get started, as always, for those of you returning, welcome back. And for those new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And specifically today, a shout out to Fonda, Molly, and Sharla. I'm dropping things over here. Thank you guys for... Uh, your comments, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, that would be most awesome. Um, as always, I encourage you to leave comments, questions, insight, just whatever you feel like uh, adding, and a thumbs up is always nice as well. So today I don't have a huge haul, but I thought we would have some time to craft with maybe a couple of the things that I have, barring that this does not take too long. So let's go ahead and get started. I... The items today came from um, one thrift shop and one auction. So the first is a, it's called the Lookies. And the intent was, this is um, published, this is 1958, the World Book Encyclopedia. And it was an accompaniment to go along with World Book, the series of encyclopedias. So consider this like Google before Google. So what the intent was that if you were in the club, in the Lookies club, that we never guess, we look it up. So, for example, this one says, and in, in it's each month, did January always begin the new year? Look it up and um, in the letter J book under on page 3970. And it would just go through each, each month, but there's some super cute illustrations in here. Uh, I just, I thought it was adorable. I'm not sure how... I will use this. My first thought was to take each month if I can do it. Because I think each month starts on the right-hand side, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, it does. And, you know, for the ephemera kits, the 100-piece um, ephemera kits that I put together, to maybe use those in there. That was my thought. But just super cute little things. Cute little images of birds and kiddos. There's some kittens. And then in the back, I think, can you supply the missing letters? Can you fill in these lines? And then it's fun with birds. And then it asks on the first line, tell a fact about each that you have learned from watching and looking. That's not a very clear direction, but you know, um, on the second line, tell a fact about each that you have learned from the books. They're talking about the birds, but, and then there's flowers. So there's some fill in the blanks, just a cute little, little book. It's in very good shape. So I'm guessing this did not get much use, but it's super, super cute. And I thought it would go cute in the ephemera kit. So that was one item. Now this, mm, I am so excited about these next two things. I can't even contain myself. So, if you are from Canada, you know what I'm talking about. So, Eaton's is a department store. It was started in 1869 by an Irish immigrant by the name of Timothy Eaton and his wife, Margaret. And Eaton's was a chain of department stores. Uh, they, I think that it was like, they paid, he and his wife paid $6,500 to get a dry goods and retail, um, I don't know what they call it in Canada, but a license or, I don't know. I don't know what they call it there. But anyway, um, the premise of Eaton's was that it was, they were based on quality and it was cash only. So back in, you know, the early, well, in 1869, a lot of times they would um, bargain you could, you know, get credit, give them your name, and they would write down what you had, and then you could pay when you could. Uh, they bartered sometimes. So they were one of the most innovative um, as it related to the economy and retail to actually do fixed pricing. So this is their catalog. The catalog of uh, 1884 I think 1884. You guys from Canada probably know better than I do. Their first um, catalog came out. And this one is specifically from 1907. And it is just... I mean, I 
I don't think I have an original. Maybe I have one, but it's newer. I have a real Sears and Roebuck catalog, but it's from like the 70s or 80s, maybe. 70s, I think. Uh, it, this is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's in rough shape. You know, the back is coming off and, um, but for the most part from being from 1907, it's in really good shape. Let's look at some of these images. I just cannot even handle it. They're so awesome. So what happened is when they, you know, the railway system was getting larger and larger. So they, uh, what Mr. Eaton would do is he wanted to kind of uh, eliminate wholesalers. So he would travel to Europe. He would travel to um, England and other parts of Europe to buy the goods directly from the supplier. So cutting out that that middleman and saving money so that he could offer things. And he was they were also the first to have a, um, at least in Canada, like a, a satisfaction guarantee or you get a refund which I think is really cool. But when the railway um, system started to expand, that was their opportunity as a corporation to um, offer, you know, low freight options because they had the means to do that. And they, um, they just kept expanding and expanding. In fact, I believe they had a department store, Canadian friends, help me out here, in every province at one time and then they would buy out like oh my goodness look at those um they would buy out other smaller department stores so that then they could oh look at these these okay this is where I was getting all excited look at these all the furs I did look up what this was what did it say well, it's like the curly fur, but I think it's from uh, Astrakhan or wherever. I don't remember. I did look it up, though, because I was curious. And Dave didn't know either. They've got the fur stoles. Uh, so they went, I mean, they were kind of innovative. Oh, look at these little kids. So this, you guys, I'm going to be able to... Uh, scan and I can um, have these on Etsy so you can all have them as well. I don't know that I will look at that. <laughs> I don't know that I'll be able to just use these sheet these because it's I think I mean I'm pretty sure all the pages are in it. So that's pretty awesome. Lots of men's and young boys outfits. Uh, they did kind of, well, so in the United States, it would be um, like Macy's. In Iowa, we had something called Yonkers, and they had a tea room that was, you know, there. Eaton's was much larger than, um, obviously, than the Yonkers stores. But uh, they had, oh, they had, it was the Georgian room, I think. And then they had a round room, which was very exclusive and it was very posh and, um, you know, kind of the place to be. So they didn't just do, look at this. Is this not the coolest? The order forms are still in there unused. How awesome is that? Unbelievable. Look at the laces and embroidery. Wouldn't we all love to have some of this trim? Oh, and, and look at these infant and bib feeders. <laughs> but look how beautiful they are. Yeah, our kids got the plastic and plastic ones with the little thing in the that snapped and caught all their excess food, right? <laughs> and you could clean them off. Um, so they, I mean, they were around for a very, very long time. And <clears throat> somewhere in the early 50s, they, uh, Sears, which was then Sears and Roebuck, actually signed some agreement with uh, Canada to come and do retail there. And so they, they became the biggest competition of Eaton's. And, you know, as you can imagine, um, you know, some of their practices, they, they didn't want to change. They did have some, you know, problems with, um, unions and they were, you know, kind of 
anti-unionization and that kind of thing. Um, but, and there was a lot of reasons, but they ended up, uh, well, they ended up st stopping their can uh, their, um, catalog in like 1976. Ooh, pretty little undies. Those look nice and toasty. On a day like today, I could use some of those because it is very cold here. Corsets, wow. Um, oh, look at the watches. Uh, so they discontinued doing the catalog ordering. And then in I somewhere around 1997, look at this in 1909. February, March, January. April's not in there. In May. That's cool. Um, they ended up filing bankruptcy, and then um, guess who bought them out? <laughs> Sears. So, which I don't even know. Does Sears, are they all closed now, or do they still have Sears stores? I don't know, I guess. They don't, there aren't any around here. Just really, really cool images. And then... Check this out. Listen. No joke. This is, I mean, they were, they must have been into just everything. I mean, there's furniture, there's clothing. I don't know. I don't, I didn't see any. See, there's no seed. I don't know. I, didn't, I don't know. I'll just keep looking. But this is a vintage, true, real wildflower garden mixture. I will probably scan it. But it is going into my, <laughs> this is funny. I didn't see that. Hope you get them planted. Well, whoever was the recipient did not. And this was, it looks like it, I don't know if this is the year, but it says 1943. And then inside of here, look at, you can even see the seeds inside of there. What are these? I don't know. Oh, maybe this was, I bet this was. Nope, this is the order forms. Huh, I thought maybe it was remittance of payment, but they, I don't know. Oop. One cent. Refund check. Yeah, this is the, this is also to put place their order in. So really, really cool finds. But it gets better. Well, at least for me. For you guys, some of you might be like, that's, you nailed it on that. I'm just going to leave these out for right now. Okay, so I also got... Okay, you could have a rug, too. Look at this. No joke, artichoke. They sold wallpaper. Now, this is newer. This is 1949. Look at these. It's easy to be your own decorator from someone who is, it's not always that easy. <laughs> Gorgeous. 33 cents for a single roll. I'm just, And that's why I said, if we have time, we will get to my other little activity. But I wanted to give you a rundown of all of these. And what's cool is they're like a nice size. I didn't even measure. Let's see. They are... Oh, they're eight and a half. And eight and a half by nine and three quarters. So, I mean, these you could, could fold over and make traveler's notebooks. Pretty. Recipe for bedroom charm. Add flowers to cream and green pastels and sprinkle lightly with silver color. Look at those. These I've already, I've already scanned. Mm. The Fresh Charm of Daisies. Flower gay paper for your bedroom walls, equally suitable for a sunroom or hallway. There's some more. That's got a texture to it. Oops, now we're getting up there. This is 55 cents a roll. And this is 37 probably you probably pay for the shine <laughs> look at 
those, you know. I, bought, I thought at first they were poppies, but I think they're morning glories. I don't know if somebody knows, tell me. But just gorgeous, gorgeous papers. I, I could not wait. Look at that. I could not wait to get this. So I can't wait to have a little fun with this. I don't even know if I've really looked through every page, like, slowly. Very fall-esque. We've remodeled some houses that had, look at the, how glossy that is, that have had some even more crazy wallpaper than that. But that looks like something that we've seen in kitchens. Look at that. Just gorgeous. So how is everybody doing today? It seems like there might have been something missing there because it doesn't quite... I hope well. I am actually recording this on Thursday because it's been a, a busy day. Um, my day started at 3 o'clock this morning. I woke up at 3 and today is Demi's birthday. And so I had made her this really cute sign that said like, We've loved you for 16 years, and then it had how many months, how many weeks, how many days, and how many minutes. And then uh, we all wrote, and I do this, did this for Landon too, um, just wrote little post-it notes and then put them all over her door so she, when she woke up, she had it. Well, I woke up at 3 in the morning, and I'm like, well, I might as well do it now. <laughs> I did go back to sleep, though. And so then uh, we had to go get a driver's license because you know you can't wait until you're 16 in one day you must do it on the day of your birthday so that was fun and then we did lunch and then Demi's had visitors she is a uh, she's kind of popular with all the little neighbor kids around around us she babysits a lot and so some of the kids brought over gifts for her, which I thought was really sweet so I'm hoping that might come to a halt for a little while because the dog, I started doing this video a little while ago and the dog started barking and it was our little neighbor who brought over something for them. So yeah, that's what's happening in my world. Look at that. Uh, we celebrated, my mom and dad came down and um, we had dinner. Look at the geraniums. I wish there was like one whole geranium on there, but still cute. Um, and we celebrated, um, Demi wanted, uh, to go out for dinner at an Italian restaurant. So we did that. And we did that because she has softball tonight and she was supposed to have games on Friday night and then Saturday. It's so pretty. That would go in my journal right now. And then we don't know about what time's on Sunday. Well, they ended up canceling the one on Friday. So we could have went out tomorrow night, but that was fine. So she's at softball now and she'll have tomorrow night free. So that was my favorite, favorite time. And then there's one other little thing that I thought we might play with. Um, at the same thrift store that I bought that Lookies book, I got this jar for a dollar, which Ma Brown Sweet Relish. I have no idea how old it is. I've never heard of it, but it was full of these little jewels and I'll just pour them out. So there were some buttons in there too, but these are just like, they've got a little hole in them and I'm not so sure. I'm going to try. I have like a, you know, like a metal stamping thing. I'm thinking these and possibly, oh, we got more of these. These little guys might be stampable. So I'm going to try that. I won't try that on camera because that's way too loud. Uh, but in there was a bunch of like corded, let's see, are they in here? Corded pieces and they had all of the findings on them. So I didn't want the, the other piece because it was kind of cheapy. So I took those off, but all of these little doodads were in here. So I made, and look, here's some more. And they all have, a lot of them have the lobster claws on them, like those. There's a couple little hearts. And then here, I'm going to put those here. 
So I think we're going to try to make a dangle. But then he, look at these. So this I stuck a piece of just old book paging because I wanted to see what it looked like. But then it came with a glass. So I think that there were, yeah, there's two square ones. Let me move this out so you can see a little bit better. What kind of order? And then they had some of these, which those are pretty nice, actually. But I just kept them in there because I thought, well, I can use them for something. I could probably make a dangle out of it. I could just use the findings, but they were too nice for me to just take the findings off. So I don't think we need those today. Put them back. So then those, there's a couple little chains. Another one of those. Okay, and these are all the same. I haven't opened this up, so I'm not really sure what's in there. It looks like it's some kind of buckle. So we have two squares. We have two of these. And, oh, this one's little. But we could use that for something else for sure. Another one of those. And then all of these, which I'll put back in there because we're not going to use those today. But what I wanted to show you, there was also this little guy in here, in there. And it's got the lobster claw on it. And I just stuck some paper and a word from an old vintage book. And then I used my liquid glass to fill it in. And so I thought we would do one of those today because I also have, and I thought, well, I might as well just keep this little jar and use it for all of them. I have this jar of these. Some of these, like these are plastic. I've had them for forever. Um, but look at that one. It's got little daisies on it. I should have used this one. Maybe we'll do that because I found some little daisies, but I've got all of these. And I don't know. Well, you know what? Tina at Shabby Dabby Dee Dot did, uh, she did put some in wax, um, wax seals in them, which I have not tried, but I did think I would try that. And then I got these and I was like, oh, well, maybe we should try this. Let's see. I had gotten out this one. I, I just don't think it looks as good in the silver. And I cut out just, this is just from one of my books. And I thought I'd quickly show you just how I did this. And let me see, I probably need to zoom you in. Well, you are zoomed in. There we go. Now we'll really zoom you in. So all I did, and you can, I didn't in the last one, but you can use your liquid glass. I, this is an old, I had this working. I just don't, it's like totally full. But for the sake of this video, we're not going to use it. It's just, it's old. We'll use the new one, which I have not even used yet. Look at that precision. Wow, and it's even got, this is from close to my heart. It's got the chip that's built into the lid that goes in here. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's just try this. <laughs> I did try this before, you guys. I promise. Well, it's not coming out of there. I made sure that it was open, I think. Oh, maybe I didn't. <laughs> I swear I heard him make a noise. Well... There we go. We're in business now. This would be interesting to use this really fine tip because I haven't. Shoot, there it comes. And you really don't need very much on here because this spreads out pretty well. This is, I think that tip is uh, finer than art glitter glue. Maybe not. And I'm just kind of pressing that in. But what I want to show you is like, I don't know how much these glass, you know, the little discs cost and you got to get the right size. And the ones I had don't have anything in them. So I wanted to show you guys an alternative. If you have, 
what else, what are the other words that they call I always call it liquid glass because that's what I've used for years and it was the you know the close to my heart kind so now I'm just going to fill this up fairly well with this. What is the other, what do they call that? Liquid glass. Anyway, somebody knows, please, please put it in the comments. Uh, if you have some of this or you can find some of this, it works perfectly. And all I did, it does take a long time to dry. Um, but there you have it. And now, whoa, now you've just created your own little medallion charm. Gosh, if you wanted, you could use it as a real necklace. Um, but maybe we can add to add to this because I don't I don't even know what it says. It says something about my dear boy and nothing really meaningful. I just had the piece of paper there. But I grabbed a couple things. I just did yellow. What if we just cut a piece? Let's just cut this and see. How it works out. This could be epic fail or it could work really well. We don't know. I'm going to just kind of hold that up and... Some of that isn't even the sticker. It's just the sticky. I'm just kind of eyeballing this a little bit. Ooh, I'm kind of liking it. Let's take it the back off. That one was easy to get off. Carefully. And with this, you remember, it's it's going to have that glass under, over the top. The interesting part is, I have no direction, so I'm just assuming I can use my liquid glass to put it. That's cool. Now, do we want to leave it like that? Okay, this is what it looks like with the glass on it. Gosh, it's kind of gorgeous just like that with just a little bit of the words peeking through. I mean, sometimes it's better to leave things. That's too, too orangey now, I think. I had the word happy, but then it, it's kind of big. I mean, I guess I could cut it down. We can just cut it down and see what it looks like. I don't know if that really goes with it. It's just kind of elegant the way it is, isn't it? In a garden journal. You guys are going to be yelling at me. Yeah, I'm not I'm not feeling the vibe. I mean, it's cute. I'm thinking no. I think we just leave it, don't you? Okay, so I'm going to let you know how this turns out once it dries, but I'm just going to seal it in with the liquid glass because never worked with these before. Actually, I have worked with something similar, but it was more like those, oh, you can make rings and they were like the elastic rings. I think I made them with Demi and then they had like you then they had these little round things but they were almost like you know those rocks that you put in the bottom of like I don't know fake plants or something I think it was like those so that's what it looks like I mean how easy is that now luckily for me I got a lot of them for one dollar um so I didn't really have to spend much at all um and then I had those other ones which was funny because I had him out thinking, oh, I should try to do something with those after watching Tina um, and I hadn't done anything with them. So here, let's see what's in here. Oh, this will take a little bit of me figuring out, but there's little buckles. 
Oh, these could be fun. Oh, look at this one. Oh, yeah. And it's got this so you can adjust. This could be very fun. I'm not sure. I don't see where these go on to either of these or these. Hmm. Okay, well, we're not putting those in there because I think we need to do something with them. At least for a closure on something, right? I'm going to put them back in the bag, maybe. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to put them over with... Actually, I'm just going to put the whole thing over here with these extra little buttons that I've got. Perfect. Okay, let's try to make a little dangle. Now, I did make one of these from <clears throat> the other ones that were in there. I'll show it to you. It's honestly taken me a little bit to get used to, but let's see. So, these were all in the packs, and I didn't really care if they were, <clears throat> excuse me, gold or silver. And then those two were, these were all in there. And then this little guy, little girl, I'll we'll call her a little girl. This is actually a locket. And because it had the clasp, I just started adding on and then I decided, well, I should make one of these on camera because I've never, I've never had a dangle. Well, I had a like quasi dangle and it didn't work out too well for me, but I thought maybe we would do, I'm not really into that purple, but I had an idea. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this, this one off. This extra one, because I want to use it, I think. Well, I'll probably have to get another one out, but why not? Remember? I know you can't see. Hmm. Let's see. See if I can do this. Remember, pull straight out. Still can't see it. <laughs> Goodness. I think my bottle's too tall. Okay, so let's put this little, I had this little fairy. Let's just leave that unclosed. So here was my thought. What if, this is a stainless steel, uh, eye pin. That's what it looks like. So this is how I, like on my art glitter glue, which is, I, no, over right here. I just have it with the the pin and the tip. Um, but why, what if we do this? Because this is stainless steel. You know, if if you have used our glitter glue a lot, you know. Oh, wait, but I wanted to do something else. Um, that it will rust if it's not stainless steel. So I also, I do not know what this is for. I think it's actually supposed to go the other way. I wonder what it would look like that. Like I was thinking this looks more like an open flower. So we could put it this way. Let's just try it the other way and see what it looks like. You can't really see the design. Now it looks like a hat. I'm going with the other way. I thought it looked more like a flower. Okay. Decision made. I'm going to leave that out just a little bit. I don't know if that's going to... Will it work when I pull it all the way down? Yeah, it does. But we don't want to pull it down yet because we need to be able to see. Okay. Why don't we... Why don't we do this? We will put, because I'm not real sure if those lobster claws will fit in that. Should I try? We're just gonna go with this, I think, to start. Get that attached. 
should be using different pliers. This is really hard for me to do when I'm... As you know, if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm not an expert. I feel like I need a little tiny bead right there. Hold on. Let's see if I got something. be a lot for you guys to handle. I just need something tiny. What's that all about? What's got a brad in it? Hmm. Okay, this one will work. It's not fancy by any means. I need, I need a tiny pearl. All right, I got a couple things out that I think might work. Let's take this back out. Okay. And the cool part is, if I don't like it, I can just take it apart. I'm not liking where she's at. At all. Okay, we're taking her off. She needs to dangle somewhere else. Where you can see her. I can, there we go. Come on. Here you go. Perfect. See, maybe I should have put it. Are you guys thinking the same thing? Do you think I should put this underneath here? I think so. It still won't fall off because we got the flower on there. We're going for it. Thank you for playing with me. I did... I didn't really know where I was going to go with this. Okay. Third or fourth time is a charm. Well, gosh, do I really even need? I probably need another bead. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it wouldn't hurt to have that extra bead in there. And then I can... Yeah, that looks cute. Look at that. Much better. And then I can glue those... All together if I choose to do that. We need to pop that little piece off. And hope stuff doesn't go flying. Okay, now let's put this back on because that fairy, I really want her to go on there. And you know, you could do several iterations of these. I'm just, I don't know. I don't think I used more than one. No, mine's just one piece of chain. But you could add more pieces of chain on there if you wanted just to really go crazy with it. Okay. Gosh, that's almost just sweet like it is. But we'll put something on the bottom. Let's go with one of these blue hearts. Maybe. It's so funny. Like, none of this stuff was even... I mean, obviously, they must have all come in packs like this. This one wasn't even opened. Put the heart on the bottom. And like I said, this is a dangle. I, and it's just for me. I wasn't worried about... Oh, poo. I wondered about that. Okay, so these little jump rings... Take no offense, Tim. I don't know how old they are. 
but they don't work very well. And so I'm thinking, oh, maybe there were something that was, because I got them at a thrift stop, shop. So I'm thinking, oh, were they something that was discontinued? I don't know. It, you know, it's partly that they're, they don't really work fabulous, but the other part is it could be operator air. Okay, so, so far we have those. We need to, we need to add something. Look at that, it has a little top on it too. Can we get this apart? I can barely see that. Can you? <laughs> Got it. Got it. Okay. I'm just trying to maybe distract a little bit from that gold. What I should have thought of is to look in my stash to see if I have any more little gold items. And I know what you're saying. Well, you could put that purple one on. <laughs> I don't like purple. So now we have that little word bright. We we'll probably need these, don't you think? I mean, if we're going to do it, let's just do it. Let me see. Let me get those. Here, see, here they are. I don't know when, but somewhere, some place that I'm not aware of, they were originally $4. And I'm just using just what I have handy. I mean, are they the right color? No. Am I worried about it? Also, no. <laughs> so what else do I know? Gosh. Oh, oh, I know what I know. <laughs> um, I don't know if... If I talked about Demi's softball yet in my videos, shouldn't we just add this one on there too? <laughs> I think so. Um, but we had softball games last weekend. You guys, it was so cold. I can't even, I, and this is no, no joke. Dave had, um, they're called Carhartts. And so they're like, imagine like, they're tan, they're really warm, farmers wear, <laughs> you know, you see people in construction wear them all the time, they're bib overalls, and he had them in his, in his truck, thank goodness, I was so cold, I put, I mean, I could barely walk, I had to hold the legs up, I had those on, it was ridiculously cold, um, but the good news is they won all four games, so that was awesome. Uh, and then um, she has games all weekend again this weekend. And it is also supposed to, right now, or well, not now, but earlier today it snowed. Uh, and it's supposed to be cold and windy this weekend. So I don't know. I might have to go buy myself a pair of those car hurts, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, it was It was that cold. Uh, and you know, at least they get to run around a little bit, but oh my goodness, when there's, you know, when they're still, it makes it tough. Um, so yeah, I have to, I get to look forward to that. I love watching her play. They won all four games. She did really, really well. Her hitting was good. She had two triples. I think one, one for sure, maybe two doubles. Um, so she just, I mean, she had just a really, really good weekend. So hopefully she'll have another one this weekend. Um, so there we have it. Now I wonder, I don't know. I've never tried this bigger pink tip on, on here. I've only tried it on the, you can see. There we go. Success.
I should put this this one on the the other glue. So that was uh, my fun finds for the day and a couple little artsy projects. And then I got a fun little happy mail from my friend Wendy. Here's what I love. Wendy is, like, I, I've mentioned her before. She um, has requested some videos. She's brand new to junk journaling. And so she um, she sent me, this is the second time she sent me, well, she sent me a gift last time, and, and then she sends me all these, which are gifts as well, but little goodies of the things that she's been working on making. And so um, I love that she's, you know, taking the initiative. She's watching, you know, the videos and you know, crafting along and it's clear she's, you know, been, and she's working with what kind of items she has and she's been doing master boards. She did this, um, she did some frames. She's, this is a template. Um, she's made, she's started making her own envelopes. So I just love it when somebody is new to something and I'm saving those for last and it's just, you know, all in these, I thought, I'm pretty sure I know what they're made out of, but I could be wrong. She cut out all of these dresses, which I, I can't wait because I want to use them in my fashion um, book. I'm not so sure that these aren't made out of post-it notes. So, Wendy, if you're watching, you leave a comment, but it almost feels like that kind of paper. So, I'm saving those for a special occasion. But then look at these. If she, And again, Wendy, I don't know if these were like just a little treat that you're sharing with me. Uh, it, but if you made these, oh my, they are so beautiful. Look at those. They're wooden. I, I can't, I mean, you can still see the wood grain through them. I don't know. It looks like she could have distressed them. I think Wendy's got a little project that we need to try. So, if you're watching this, please share how you made those. But isn't that awesome? I'm going to put those in my little small button area right here that I use at the ready. And thank you, Wendy. I appreciate it. So, friends, until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. I hope that... You are getting all crafty as much as you possibly can, and you're all healthy and well, as always. Uh, until next time, remember to take time to just be, and we will talk to you soon. Cheers.